Hi friends, welcome back to Edupedia world. In our last lecture, we studied about the principle of moment. Today's lecture, we will discuss the center of gravity. We will understand what center of gravity is. We will see examples of the center of gravity for standard shapes. And they will, then we will learn about a method to find the center of gravity for irregular shapes. Let us get started with our lecture. The topic of discussion in today's lecture is center of gravity of gravity if we have a body any body it is made out of many particles uh, distributed throughout the body now each particle will have its own weight w1 w2 w3 wn so if there are n particles each particle will have its weight and uh, it will be from w1 to wn now the force of gravity acts on a single point on the body but if there are so many particles how do we say where exactly is the force of gravity acting obviously we can point out one point where we can say that the net effective force is w capital w which is w1 plus w2 plus w3 and till wn for all the particles and that will take care of the force of gravity for each individual particle but the problem is where exactly is that point on which this capital W can be placed this point where the total weight of the body can be supposed to be acting is exactly what is known as the center of gravity now that we know what the center of gravity is and why we need to find the center of gravity let us try to find the center of gravity or let us try to understand what is the property of the center of gravity the most important point which will help us find the center of gravity is the fact that the total moment the total moment of force about that point will be equal to zero what I mean by that is that if we add uh, w1 into the distance the perpendicular distance this plus w2 into the perpendicular distance this plus w3 into the perpendicular distance till the nth particle then the summation should be zero therefore center of gravity can be defined as the point about which the algebraic sum about which the algebraic sum of moment for all the particles of the body all the particles of the body is equal to is zero why does it have to be like this this has to be like this because if it were not zero if the moment about that point was not zero then the body would be in a state of continuous rotation even when it is placed at some place 
this since the whole weight is acting on that location and uh, the moment is not zero it will keep on rotating the body which is not the practical which is not the real scenario so the location can be found using this condition that the algebraic sum of moment is zero two important properties of the center of gravity are that this point of center of gravity depends on the how the mass is distributed throughout the body so first thing is depends on distribution of mass depends on how the mass is distributed and an, another second very important and very interesting thing about the center of gravity is that it can actually lie outside the body itself it can lie outside body an example where the center of gravity is not inside the body is a ring in a ring the mass is concentrated at the circumference or the rim of the body but the center of gravity for the ring lies at the geometric center so the center of gravity is here whereas the mass is concentrated at the rim cg the center of gravity can lie outside the body can lie at a position where there is no mass actually placed next we'll see some standard configurations standard mass distribution and where does the center of gravity lie for them examples a rod uniform rod has its center of gravity at the midpoint so this midpoint will be the center of gravity mid point of the rod if we have a disk if we have a disk that is there it's a uniform disk mass distributed throughout the center of gravity is the central point the geometric center so for a disk it is geometric center geometric center similarly for a, a ring if it was a ring it is also the geometric center if we have a hollow or solid sphere suppose this is a hollow or a solid sphere any kind of sphere uh, cg center of gravity will be the center of the body center of the sphere so for a hollow sphere the center of gravity will be where there is no mass actually present that is the center which is actually a hollow point and for a solid sphere to the center of gravity will be at the center now let us see some other shapes if we have a, a rectangle 
then the center of gravity will be the meeting point of the diagonals this should be straight lines I'm sorry this is not exactly straight but if this were a straight line then the meeting point of those straight lines would be the center of gravity so for a rectangle it's uh, the meeting points of diagonals bear in mind that in all these cases the mass is uniformly distributed if the mass is not uniformly distributed we cannot state for a matter of fact these things these examples are when the mass is uniformly distributed now since the rectangle has its uh, center of gravity at the meeting point of the diagonal a square will also have a similar property and by extension actually a parallelogram has its center of gravity at the meeting point of the diagonal too if we have a cylinder cylinder is something like this the cylinder will have its center of gravity in the central line there will be a central line which passes through the cylinder and there will be a line over here which distributes the cylinder into two parts this part and this part equal parts the meeting point is the center of gravity for a cylinder it can be a hollow cylinder or a solid cylinder in both cases the center of gravity is this point so these are a few examples of very regular uniform objects in which the center of gravity can be very easily found out next we will try and figure out a way to find the center of gravity for non-uniform bodies these were uniform bodies but there is a way to find the center of gravity for non-uniform bodies let's go and try it out imagine we have a irregular shaped body something like this and we want to find where the center of, center of gravity lies for this body what we need to do is that we first need to make very small pinholes at three four points I'm going with the example where we make three holes any three points and uh, then we hang the body about each point once at a time so let's begin with point A let's call this point A we hang it about this point such that it is free to rotate about the body about the point A and once the whole body becomes stationary while hanging from point A we hang another weight tied by a rope from this same very same point now that weight tied by a rope will point exactly towards the center of earth so this is the weight tied by a rope now what we will do is we will just draw the line along with the weight hangs that is this we will draw a line along the string so we will have something like this next we will repeat this process by hanging the body from point B and point C this is the point C that will give us uh, some lines like this one line let's say it will pass like this and from C we will get a line passing like this 
and we will find that all the three lines will meet at one particular point. If we took another point D, let's say here and hang the body about that point, then the line would again pass through the same point. Let's call that point O. Now this point O through which all the lines are passing is the center of gravity. O turns out to be the center of gravity. So I will sum up the process to find the center of gravity again. Pierce hole at three points and one at a time hang the body through one of the holes uh, in such a way that it is free to hang. Hang a thread with a weight at the other end from that point such that it is pointing directly towards the center of earth. It will obviously point towards the center of earth. It is free to uh, move. Now draw the line along the string. Repeat this process for the other holes. We will find that all the lines will meet at a single point. And as it turns out, that point is the center of gravity. We are not going to discuss why they will meet at the same point or why exactly is that the center of gravity that is beyond the scope of our syllabus for the time being. But this is a process that will give you the center of gravity. It is advised to try out this at home. Maybe you take a piece of chart paper cut out different shapes, maybe a disc, maybe a square, maybe a rectangle and try out this and check out if you are getting the center of gravity. Now with this uh, we have a fair idea about center of gravity. We saw center of gravity for some standard sizes. We learned how to find the center of gravity for irregular lamellae. With this I will close today's lecture. In the next lecture we will learn about uniform cir circular motion. Till our next class have a great day. Goodbye.